CBS Sports Senior NFL writer Jonathan Jones coming in. Let's talk about the Chargers here, all right? I mean, you got better talent. You're supposed to win this game. You needed it. I know you're coming into a flat spot off a big loss, emotional loss against the Chiefs, but you can't not check the box. I don't care that Austin Eckler is out with COVID or whatever. Your quarterback's still there. Your coach is still there. It's Houston. The Chargers are now 8-7. and seven. How bad a loss was this? Terrible. It was absolutely awful. It rivals the Cardinals loss to the Lions last week as the worst loss in the NFL this season. When you think about this, and really you could argue it is the worst loss in the NFL season. The Chargers played last Thursday, okay? So they don't have Bosa and they don't have Eckler, but they had 10 days of rest. And okay, they lost a close one to the Kansas City Chiefs. They went toe-to-toe with a team that I think is the best in the NFL in the Kansas City Chiefs. They were a player two away from winning that football game. Just as they were getting their running game going, that just absolutely dies. Whether they have Austin Eckler again or not, just 64 rushing yards out of Justin Jackson. After the last two weeks, they'd averaged 172 rushing yards. Justin Herbert, just one passing touchdown compared to two interceptions, including a pick six. Keenan Allen never got going earlier today. And then when you look on the other side, that it was the Houston Texans with Rex Burkhead and no Brandon Cooks. This was a Texans team that couldn't even find their way into the red zone before last week. They had the fewest number of drives heading into this week in the red zone. They would only score touchdowns on 48% of those drives. So the fact is that they got there four times today and then scored on three of them. And finally, the Chargers not going for it on fourth down any after going for it five times last week against the Chiefs. I guess they used them all up last week against the Chiefs. This is about as bad a loss as you will see in the NFL this season. All right. Um, if I'm the Houston Texans, I go with Davis Mills next year, right? I mean, I'm not telling you I'm giving him a big contract. I'm not telling you he's definitely our guy. But I got to go with Davis Mills next year. I got to see what I have. He's at least been good enough to earn an opportunity. I'm not one player away. It's like the Lions. And there's not a great quarterback in this draft. It's not like I'm passing on Trevor Lawrence or Joe Burrow. If you're the Texans, you're going to go with Davis Mills next year, no? I think you probably are because you're still – just a little too far away you have uh, right now the number four overall pick we'll see how that changes as you go along uh, but no they have seen and like what they have seen from davis mills so far i think that is a possibility moving forward certainly don't have to waste a draft pick on on a quarterback if you don't want to in a very weak class next year do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game the highlights the picks the instant analysis no yelling no fake debates no politics hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment